my daughter has not had dental insurance for years. So when I heard about this, I thought this was a perfect opportunity. And I said, we got to go. I have two boys. Haven't been to the dentist in a long time because we haven't had dental insurance. And I got really bad front teeth, so I'm hoping to get them fixed. I haven't had dental insurance in 10 years, so I'm not really sure what's going on in my mouth. And, you know, it could just be that I need a cleaning, but it could be that I need a whole lot more. I'm just really, really excited about it. Probably be able to get out there more with the boys and feel more comfortable and not feel embarrassed. It's just going to be great. I think a smile shows your personality. It's something you wear all the time, so you might as well have a healthy one. There's so many people that can't get dental coverage or can't find a dentist, and for the dentist to be able to come and do this is just amazing. Mission of Mercy is a two-day clinic, 100 chairs, to come and meet and address oral health care needs of individuals that have gone without for months or even years. I couldn't imagine when I heard there were going to be over a thousand volunteers that it would be this organized. It's amazing. It's a major task in getting it organized and set up, but it's really well worth it because of the smiles and tears that come from people's faces. The line outside shows that events like this are important because there's a great need. In some cases there's mental issues, some cases there's a financial issues, but whatever it is, these folks have a hard time accessing dental care. It was a long wait. I camped out Wednesday and um, I've been here since. I stuck it out and here I am today, you know, and having this amazing experience and, and I love everybody here, you know, and I'm, I'm truly grateful. I can't believe that there's so many people that volunteer to help people that don't have dental. One of my dentists said that they had a waiting list of 432 patients at one time. So it's hard for people that don't have insurance to even get a dentist to even look at them. I'm really curious now. I have not seen the mirror since they've been trying it on and off yet. It feels a little weird with my tongue on it because it's like a plastic piece. If it looks any better, hell, I can get used to that. Patient smile is everything to them. It's confidence, it's who they are. It's about being out there and being visible, being able to smile, whether it's a job interview, whether it's a wedding, and I think that impacts so much of our overall well-being. To be able to smile means that they can be fulfilled and really live out their life like they would like. The volunteers are the mission, and without the volunteers there would not be an event. Everybody wants to give back, and it just adds to the wonderful spirit that's felt throughout the floor. I heard somebody describe it as, you know, being in church for three days. It just feels good to be doing good work for people. To see the tremendous amount of volunteers and the goodwill is just heartwarming. We could do this every weekend and still not service everybody that needs it. We really need to do better for these individuals. We need to talk to policymakers, raise a level of awareness about rural health care, and make it a priority. This is not a solution, but as long as we have people in pain and people with infection, then we have to keep doing this. I had four extractions and I got a flipper so that I have nice front teeth. The kids will probably be seeing me smiling a lot more <laughs> instead of holding back. You don't know how long I've been waiting to get something fixed. I mean, it's been over nine years. I had my cleanings done though and I had my, my partial was done sooner than what it was supposed to be. Well, since 1997 I needed to do this car accident and uh, thank the Lord I have it done now. A smile really means that you are happy and if we can help you getting that smile then I think our work is done. I was talking with the uh, gentleman who was number one in line yesterday. I was just talking to him and tears come to my eyes. He said all I want for Christmas and it's July are my two front teeth and I'm getting them today. And there's one woman who's getting married in about a week or two, and just to have her come in and that she can have that perfect smile for those wedding photos is really rewarding as well. Seeing people that are coming in in pain and leaving, knowing that they're going to sleep better tonight, just knowing that that's happening is what's really moving. 
real change happens with human beings helping human beings. It's just that simple. People helping people change the world. I'm just so excited and thrilled and just happy. It's just, it's a lot. It means a lot. I don't know if they could ever be repaid for what they do for everybody that comes through here. Just absolutely amazing. Before I could stick my tongue at you through my teeth, I'm so grateful. This is going to definitely make an impact my life, my self-esteem and everything. And uh, every one of you are important. You're important to me. And then I love you all and thank you. God bless you. And... <laughs>